So, good morning you guys. I'm gonna have to do a really quick rushed introduction. I hate having to rush my introductions, but my sister is currently outside waiting for me and I haven't even finished getting ready completely. My hair is still a mess, but we're just gonna have to go with it. But anyway, so today I'm actually going to Pets at Home. My niece was supposed to be coming too, but she's got a headache, so she decided to stay at home. So it's just gonna be me and my sister. First off, we're actually going to the post office because I've got some orders to send off. So these are gonna be the first orders of the year that I'm sending off which is quite exciting because I opened my shop last week Friday. I've still got a few more orders to pack that I've had coming in over the last couple of days but I'm going to post them this Friday because I'm going to be working at the RSPCA charity shop on Friday and I just do some volunteer work there for a few hours like on the till and just helping out and stuff because I love it there. Um, but yeah so today I'm going to Pets at Home. Um, there's a few things I need to pick up um, for Bluebell. I set up her cage yesterday. If you guys follow me over on Instagram you would have seen her cage ready. I posted like a million stories yesterday of me setting up her cage and showing you guys my hamster supplies and stuff and I'm going to be doing a second hand sale of a bunch of hamster supplies that I don't need so they're still in good condition. Some of them I haven't even used or I've used maybe once or twice and I just don't need them anymore because I tend to use natural items and those and a lot of them are quite colourful bright plastic items so I've got a whole container of stuff that I'm going to be selling second hand this month so if you want to find more information about that go ahead um to instagram and follow me there and yeah so i done bluebell's cage yesterday i don't have time to really show you guys now um but i need to get her some more sand i want to see if i can get any driftwood and a few treats because i'm going to be sorting out her food and treat jars um i'm going to do that in a separate video and i just need to get her some new treats and stuff and her new food is arriving so that should be here any day soon and um yeah so that's pretty much what i'm going to be doing today and uh, once i get back home i'll obviously show you guys bluebell's enclosure and yeah i absolutely love how it looks it's a nice natural theme with pink elements and if you couldn't tell by this video my hamster content has made a return so i did say this in my first video of the year that i will be making more hamster videos again so this kind of video i'm doing now is kind of like the videos i did back in 2018 2019 um just casual vlog Dogs going to like pets at home and whatnot but yeah anyways my sister's waiting for me um and I still got a throw on my coat and stuff and um yeah let's head out and I'll film what I can for you guys so I'm just about to head down now and my hair is an actual mess oh my god I didn't have time to properly sort it out my sister just called and she said I'm downstairs I was like oh my god already I thought she was going to be here after nine not before nine but yeah so we're just gonna have to go with it if you want to check out my shop I sell small animal treats toys and cage accessories my shop is called Tiny Paws and co and the link to my etsy store is in the description and here's just a really quick overview of my outfit and i've just got my michael kors crossbody even you and shanice could share the car you should get a little runner that both of you lot can use oh so you can buy these no like something like this i want for the cage but probably not this big because this is Mm -hmm. It's a bit too big, isn't no, it? It's the same thing. I want to see what hay they have. No, this hay looks too dusty, I think. Oh, yeah, you got hay fever. <laughs> oh, this is the carrier that I have. Yeah. They still have it. £14. The hide coconut pod. I have this bottle. I think They're I got nice. it the they, last one. They used to own, oh, there's a the plain one. I'll say new. Only used to make those ones. Might get her one of these, I think. So we just got back from the pets at home. I think it came up to eighteen pounds something. Yeah, eighteen pounds. Not too bad. 
The sand was six pounds. Oh, okay. So I've just got home. I'm just gonna quickly um, sort myself out, <laughs> fix my hair a bit, throw a bit of mousse in there, which I didn't get to do before I left out. And then I'll give you guys a little haul. I didn't get that many items, but I'll show you what I got anyway. And we also went to Lidl's and somewhere else after um but obviously i didn't film that for you guys because i'm just filming hamster content today and not a weekly vlog I'm sorry if this vlog is just all over the place um i'm still trying to get back into the routine of vlogging again because i haven't really done that many vlogs this year i think this is probably the third vlog i've done so i feel a little bit out of practice and i also need to change my sd card because this one is about to run i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the bits that i picked up in kept at home so I spent £18 and 5p which actually isn't too bad. A little bit gutted that I didn't find any driftwood or any like big bits of wood to put in um, Bluebell's cage. I found some but they were all really expensive. Um, they were all pretty much almost £20 or over £20 which is really pricey for a piece of wood. And I know you can get some online but you don't get to choose the piece that you want. First off, I will show you this because it's not in the bag and it is a little bit heavy and I'm hoping that I got the right sand and I think I did. And they've changed the packaging, like not as shiny as it was. It's more of like a matte look and it feels really nice and smooth. But anyways, um, so this is what the sand looks like. So if you have a hamster, you would know that they need sand and they bathe in it and they also sometimes pee in it. Um, so this is the sand that I use. It's really, really good. Um, like many others, I I used to use the Tiny Friends Farm sand um, until a couple of years ago where they changed the formula and a lot of customers complained that it was quite dusty and their hamsters ended up with respiratory infections and sometimes even dying because of it. Um, so since then I was like nope <laughs> I'm not using that anymore and they changed the colour of it as well. went from like a really nice goldeny colour to this weird looking grey colour. I've tried a few others but this is this is the best. So if you go to the reptile section you'll see three different types of sand. I think one is like a calcium one so don't get that one. I think one of them is like a dark like almost orangey colour I think. So this one just says desert sand and I'll give you guys a close up and that's the one that you want to get. I've also got a bag of stuff. This wasn't on my list but I thought oh, I might as well because it's really cheap. So I picked up this cocoa fibre brick and um, so it just looks like this and I've seen people with this on Instagram and I've known about this for a very 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 long time and I've just never tried it. What you do is it's a big block of compressed cocoa fibre and I believe you just put it in like a bucket or something and you add water and it swells up and then you have to wait for it to dry out and then you can put it in your cage and this was so cheap I think this was like two pounds something um yeah so this was three pounds so this was really 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 inexpensive first of all I got some whimsies alligators crocodiles crocodiles I think so this is what they look like and you will find these in the dog section and I thought I would pick up some more because um as I mentioned earlier I'm going to be sorting out bluebells food and treats so I have all of her treats and stuff in here and I have these like jars and I've got some bigger jars also and I've got a jar of whimsies and I think some of them are quite old and they might be okay but I'm not sure how long I've had some of them for and I don't really want to risk it so I'm going to chuck them out and I'm going to refill it with these two and some of the whimsies that I stock on my website. So the next thing I got is something that I actually brought this for Bluebell before and she loves it so if you go to Pets at Home I recommend trying this out so it's the Woodlands um, grain free parsley and celery forage I managed to pick up the bag <laughs> the packaging is back to front if you can see the lines but yeah so this is what it looks like and this is basically parsley and celery and you can sprinkle this in your hamster's dish or around their cage they can forage for it. and the last thing I got I was I was looking for it and I was like where is this product like don't tell me they've discontinued it and um yeah so I was looking for it and then I realized they changed the packaging I'm so used to it just looking the way it looked for years so it's basically these healthy bite treats and if you have been following me for a while then you would know I've used these for years so they do um so this is the NutriCare one they do an odor care and there's another one I can't remember what it's called but this is the NutriCare one and um I I always get this one it's really good to have and I don't know if you've noticed but I tend to just feed Bluebell really natural treats like um dried herbs and stuff or dried fruit 
tomorrow. Favourite treats are pumpkin seeds, dried pumpkin and dried apple. Um, so those are the kind of things I give to her. So this is more of like an extra special treat for her and it is quite healthy and beneficial. So it's got essential vitamins and it's also got things like omega-3 and it's got six different types of fatty acid. Oh, and it's a new improved formula with added coconut oil. So Bluebell loves these. This isn't her favourite treat and sometimes I do have to break it in half to tempt her because it's got like apple inside and she really really likes it but if I just hand it to her most of the time she won't take it from me because she's like I want apple, I want pumpkin seeds or I want dried pumpkin why are you giving me this treat and I love that it's resealable the old packaging was, was also resealable so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Bluebell's cage um but just keep in mind that it's not 100% complete yet. I still want to get some, um, I still want to get some forage to sprinkle on top and I've also got to put some sprays, so millet sprays, flax sprays and all of that kind of stuff and I think it will be a bit more complete. So yeah, so this is what I set up yesterday. It's a little bit messy because Bluebell messed it up a bit. Okay, so this is just an overview of her cage. I do actually sell uh, these cage thermometers and they're really handy so then I can actually see how hot or cold it is in the cage or in my room and then also on my website you'll be able to find this really pretty pink and white garland and I do them in a few other colours. So in this section you can see it's a bit messy because she decided to eat her seeds there so there's a bunch of shells and she's mixed in um, the sand with some care fresh and some of the hay which is the substrate that I've got in her cage in this section. As you can see there's not a lot of sand because this was all I had left so I got more sand today and I'm going to top up that section. I actually need to order some more substrate because I ran out while I I was um, sorting out her cage. I forgot to order some more and I didn't have enough. There is a decent amount of bedding in here, especially in this section. Um, it's really hard to show you guys because it's quite sunny. There's a lot of substrate <laughs> in this section and I wanted to make it a little bit deeper, at least up to about here. And yeah, so my camera is saying that it's um, getting really hot and my battery is about to die. So I'm just gonna conclude this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Um, also leave some suggestions for hamster videos because I'm going to be doing a lot more this year and yeah thank you so 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 much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next vlog so bye for now guys